the ambassadors and high commissioners online, uh, resident ambassadors from Africa in Ireland, and uh, all the invited guests online, courtesy of IDO Network. I have changed the topic a little bit. The questions that uh, were addressed to me, I mainly focused on trade as a main driver of cultural evolution. I thank all Africans all over the world on this occasion when they remember Africa through the Africa Day. Now, the Africa Day started on 25th May, yeah, following the historical event that created the Organization of African Union. OAU, that is Organization of African Unity, way back in 1963, at a time when a lot of African countries were getting political independence from the British and from Europeans. Ladies and gentlemen, you recall that Europeans occupied Africa for over 70, some or 80 years. Don't forget your history. And that history really contributed to the dismantlement of African culture, businesses, investments, education system. Before the Europeans came to Africa, Africans were great. You need to buy a book written by Walter Rodney, yeah? Yep. Oh, Europe underdeveloped Africa. <laughs> Read all of it. You will cry. Hmm. You will still wonder why Africans want to run to Europe. Yeah. Hmm. True. I can hear some concerns in the background. Hmm. For example, they found in the ancient city of Mali. They found the University of Timbuktu. Yeah? University of Timbuktu had the largest collection of books written by Africa. They banned all these universities and civilizations and cultures. They killed almost every occupant in that city. They destroyed the culture through barbaric actions. Now it is time for us to, to, you know, to revive through trade. Millions of Africans disappeared through transactional slavery. These injustices have never been corrected because Africans the culture and the fabrics of Africa were completely eliminated during the transactional uh, slave trade and occupation of Africa. Going forward, because I look to the future, and this is where the future of African youth really lie. Though we should not decry so much what happened in the, in the historical perspective, we need to bear in mind that some of these injustices, we have to dismantle them and create the Africa we want through trade and investment. Fellow ambassadors and uh, attendees online, uh, I wish to remind and point to you out that there is the African Continental Free Trade Area, which was founded in 2018 by 54 African countries out of 55. The idea behind it is removing all trade barriers that affect trade among African countries. Now, we are talking about culture and the Africa we want. How can we sustain or develop African cultures when it is so difficult to move from one African country to another? Yeah? Through the African Continental Free Trade Area, which is the engine for growth of Africa now and in the future, we hope to see more investments 
extracted in Africa by Africans themselves, like our forefathers did it before the European barbarians came to Africa. The forefathers did it. How, how were the, the Egyptian pyramids built? I believe some of you traveled to Cairo and you saw those magnificent uh, civilizations, the relics of civilization. And some of the proof of the African civilizations and culture, they're in European uh, museums. If you visited museums in UK, in Ireland, in France, all over Europe, you'll find relics of African civilization, products of civilization stolen and brought to Europe. Yeah? The Africa we want should be driven by trade and investment. If you want the African women and youth emancipation, you don't need to come to Europe. We need to dismantle trade barriers and embrace the principles of free trade. You want to sustain a culture, you have to trade more with one another so that you can import good practical cultural practices from other areas and weave it into yours and make it productive and beneficial. The ambassador of, uh, of Kenya in, 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 in Ireland just mentioned it. The tourists are beginning to wear African clothes and braids and bangles. Why? Because they are able to move freely within Africa. But it becomes so difficult for Africans to move freely within Africa. I'm now coming to a conclusion. The Africans in diaspora, not all of them, those with investment capacities, those who can mobilize capital and those who have entrepreneurial capabilities, we urge you to register companies in Africa. Well, I'm not talking about Uganda per se, I'm talking about Africa as a block, a block of 1.2 billion consumers. It's a very big block. Now, once you register companies in Africa, because we want you to follow the laws of investment in Africa, you will be able to tap development finance in our national development banks and commercial banks scattered all over Africa. Yeah? What you, would, what you require would be a well-written business and marketing plan. That is, if you are an entrepreneurial individual or, or person, not everybody can be an entrepreneur. This is the only way we can sustain the African culture. I saw the monuments which were presented earlier by, by our great artist, the young man. How will we sustain all these monuments? We need to generate our own revenue and be proud of it. Yeah? These investments that you will engage in should be in line with respective country development priorities. Yeah? Especially those ones that uh, focus on value chain development, the entire value chain in uh, agriculture, in mining, in real estates, in hospitality, in the travel industry, in ICT, health, heart and culture. These now have great potential to, re to re reignite growth and wealth creation in Africa. Remember, I told you, these things existed before the Europeans came to Africa. This is a historical fact. Now we need to revive it. There are a lot of opportunities in Africa and we should be proud of each and every one culture that exists in Africa. There is no culture which is backward. This needs to be transformed into enterprises, weave it into enterprises and the ultimate beneficiaries are the African youth and this will be the Africa we want. A lot of people are dying in the Mediterranean, Mediterranean Sea, coming to Europe to do what in Europe? Mm -hmm. When we can actually do these things in Africa. Now we call upon those educated Africans with capital and entrepreneurship abilities 
to come and invest in Africa. This is the only way we can stop uh, cultural degradation in Africa. We should be proud. It should be the other way around. I thank you for listening to me. Thank you so much.